good, Yellow Rose Gang? It's your girl, Ray, back with another video. Look at my people, they motivate me. I'm out of state, ain't seen y'all lately. See y'all Remember, lately. I used to see y'all daily. Put yeah. in that work, we can ball later. We can ball. Put in that work like an all stater. Yeah. I'm in the stool, I'ma call later. I'm call. Never see them, man, I miss my dogs. Mama called, never miss her calls. Mama nah. called. What's good, gang? Y'all already know what it is, and y'all already know what it do. Ray back with a mukbang confession Friday for you guys today. <laughs> As you guys know, today is Friday, which means it's confession Friday. So yes, guys, today is confession Fridays. I have Popeyes for us today. I got a Popeyes spicy chicken sandwich with a side of fries and a dry biscuit, y'all, because they ain't give me no honey, they petty. But it's cool though. I got me a side of sweet tea here with no ice. I don't know why they didn't put no ice in it, but it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> it's cool. I'm just drink some warm tea or whatever. But anywho, guys, before we get into this mukbang, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell right next to that so you get notified every time I drop a video. As well as thumbs me up, comment down below, share me out, give me lit. Gang, gang, we in this thing, y'all. We're gonna go ahead and dive into this sandwich because I'm hungry. I'm starving. I know Sierra said she did not like this sandwich, and I'm like, girl, this thing's fine. I had it for the first time a few weeks ago when I was city. And yes, y'all, this how I look. Do 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 do, golden crispy chicken. <laughs> And then we got the little spicy mayo sauce. So we got the spicy Bro, don't. Bro. Bro. It comes with a pickle. It doesn't have a pickle. Like, Popeyes. See, this why this is why I don't... Fast foods be, bro. <sighs> mm. <laughs> Y'all understand my frustration? Y'all understand? I'm gonna get y'all back. Even though I don't got a pickle. But. Me a little bit hard fried. I'm sad. Hopefully everybody's having a good Friday. If not, hopefully it gets better. At least the tea good, I guess. <laughs> All right, after this bite, y'all, I'm going to um, get into the shout-out for the video, and then I'm going to go ahead and get into the confession. Mm. It's good. It's good. The chicken is really good. I'm going to take one more bite. <laughs> Okay, how you get a shout out is by dropping the emoji I tell you to drop throughout the video. So, last video, it was Candy Shell. 
Candy Shell is one of my loyal supporters. She's been here since day one. Day one, okay, basically. I feel like I met her at about 200 -ish subscribers, maybe. I don't know. She's a moderator in my chat. She always comes through the lives, shows love, shares me out, comments, all that good stuff. Very genuine person. Even though she does not upload as often as... A lot of us do. She does have content. She makes cooking videos as well as motivational videos up over there. So I love her channel, y'all. So make sure y'all go check her out. Click the link down in my description. And if she leaves a comment, I'll pin her comment to this video so y'all can click her name and just go to her channel and show her some love. Okay, babe. I need that thing. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we're gonna go ahead and get into a confession. So the first confession is it says it's a rant basically. Racing thoughts. Man, ain't we all having those racing thoughts at this moment in time? <laughs> we going insane! <laughs> we going crazy, okay? But anyway, so it says, I know, I, I know I'm lucky to have a job and work from home right now. Many people don't even have one at all. They cut, <clears throat> they cut my salary and I'm doing even more work than I was before. Well, damn, that's what I feel very isolated and upset every single day. You know, I kind of, I kind of understand that because in a way, I kind of feel the same way because at my job, uh, they like redeploy people, so basically, like, give you like a whole totally different job than what you're doing, and so it's like you work with different people, you work in different areas, surroundings, all that good stuff, and so it's like the people you used to work with, y'all don't work with each other as often as y'all did, and when y'all do work together, it's like, well, dang, like, am I missing something? Like, you feel isolated, like she said. Okay. Uh, I don't know why I stick around sometimes. I recently gained a lot of weight from drinking. Lord Jesus. You a drinker, drinker, girl. You a drinker. He doesn't seem to be, um, he doesn't seem to be unhappy with what I look like. This is the heaviest I've ever been. Man. <clears throat> um, and I never was a skinny girl to begin with. Me either, girl. Me either. So that's cool. That's okay. We good. We good. A lot of people like, you know, stuff to grab on. You feel me? You just got a little more love to handle, okay? <laughs> um, so it says, I keep hearing everyone is gaining weight during this pandemic, but I'm particularly hard on myself. I have really bad anxiety and I always think someone is trying to F me over. I mean, sometimes, I mean, shoot. To be honest, it's like really hard to trust people. So I kind of get where that comes in. And then I have a lot of family problems over the years and in different relationships in my life. And I really have trouble trusting anyone or anything, period. Yeah, it sounds like a trust issue. I feel very low most of the day and I feel like my job is just waiting to fire me. Dang. I don't feel like... I'm ever good enough, but I feel like other people don't care what people think about them. True, to a certain extent. Like, to a certain extent. Like, I don't care about what people think of me to a certain extent. But, like, if you try to, like, downgrade my character or say that, like, basically I'm a bad person, now hold on, now. You feel me? <laughs> you feel me? So, I mean... To a certain extent, I can understand. Somehow, everyone looks like they're a model celebrity during this pandemic. I don't look anywhere with the program unless I shower. <laughs> so, you ain't showering, girl. You better go shower. You'll, you'll feel better about yourself, your day. Make yourself um, 
do your nails, do your hair, do facials, do something to make yourself feel better. Not showering is not helping because you're not feeling clean, you're not feeling good. Period. Um, I don't look okay. So sorry for the rant, just feeling very city. Sometimes I wish I could just run away with my dog and forget about everyone. I mean, we all have our days, and I guess today was just your day to rant on about what was going on and hopefully it has gotten better since five days ago <laughs> since five days ago i hope so man <clears throat> what you guys think what advice would you guys give her make sure to comment down in the comment section mm. it's so good <clears throat> So it says, the second confession is, why won't she let me help her? Mm -hmm. So it says, my mother has been an al alcoholic for four years. And I have done everything I can to think of to help her. But it only got worse since she started AA. She promised she would not drink on Mother's Day so we could have dinner and spend time together. Today, I gave her her favorite flowers and a note for Mother's Day, and she got drunk. She left her room for a minute, so I took the bottle and dumped it out. When she came back, uh, she got mad and said I shouldn't have dumped it out and had no right to in the first place. She then proceeded to tell me to get out and leave her alone. Another day, another thousand, two years. Okay. So your mom's been an alcoholic for four years and she does not want your help. Right? Okay. So the thing about this situation is with alcoholics or drug addicts or whatever type of addict it is, may need to be in a position to where they want to help themselves first. Like you can't push them to help themselves. Like you did, like you like you did put the alcohol down the drain, which was good, which was good in a way. Like if it's in your area or in your vicinity, yeah, like you not finna be drinking around me, mom. Or if I see it, you not finna have it, mom. Especially if you're supposed to be an alcoholic going to AA. Yeah, she just gonna have to be mad and suck it up because if she she attended AA and still got alcohol, like no, there's no need for this alcohol to be in this house at all. Period. So you was good with throwing it out. You just have to accept the fact that she's gonna be upset with you. Like she's gonna be upset because that's not what she wants. She wants the alcohol. But hey, if you wanna get better, then you gotta go through that process. All right, what y'all think? Comment down below. <laughs> My girlfriend right here, y'all. If y'all wondering why I keep looking that way. <laughs> mm. I'm so mad that I got me this dry biscuit. Like, oh. And baby ate the dry thing, too. <laughs> mm -mm. I can't. <laughs> nope, that was too dry. <laughs> you gotta get the butter. You know, they gotta give me some uh, honey. <laughs> the butter flavor. Okay, y'all, next confession. So it says guilt over feelings. What's up, girl? What's up? So it says I was in a relationship with my ex boss. We got into the relationship after I worked there, so no worries about that. Okay, cool. What's the problem then? So, he kept saying he likes me so much until our third month. He said he doesn't feel like he likes me anymore. And it's been happening for a month already. He's just forcing himself and thinking of the best way to break up with me. Maybe we should break up with him first. <laughs> he said, I beg and beg, but he just said... He's already decided. Why are you begging him? Oh, no, 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 baby. That's what you're not going to do. That's what we not going to do. 
is beg a motherfucker to stay with us, okay? Period. If he don't want to be with you, let him go. Don't beg. Would y'all bag a nigga to stay with y'all? Or a female? Babe, would you bag a nigga or a female to stay with you? Like, please stay with me. I'm begging you to stay. She crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but anyhow, so, uh, I bet and beg, but he said he's already decided. So, I let it go. After three days, he asked me if we could talk and asked if I could still be a friend with him. Comes with benefits, making out and such. No, baby. you that That's him wanting his cake and eat it, too. He still wants you to be available for him to freak and lick and suck on and all that. But he ain't willing to make that commitment because he want to go out there and freak on anything and everything. What? Bye. <laughs> I don't see how y'all be dealing with these dudes. Like, I really can't because I'll be a female like up somewhere. That's with them, okay? He said, I am a kind person that have feelings for him. I am a kind person that goes on with feelings, but I'm not that kind of girl who just makes out just because. Now, it's been three months of us being friends, okay? And I tried to ask him if we could stop because I don't feel it's right anymore, especially if you develop a feelings. Definitely is not right. Like, you need to definitely cut that off, especially if he don't want a relationship and you know he don't want a relationship you should been cut that off when you start catching feelings the moment you knew it was a possibility you had a feel you should have cut him off excuse me <laughs> um it says anymore religious reasons i think not having feelings and playing sexual is not right but he also asked me to stay telling me that it's better than being alone no, it's not. No, it's not. It's not. Don't believe it, sis. Don't believe it, sis. <laughs> um, we do more making out and we eat, cook together, watch movies. He even pointed out that we are better than any other married couple. So he playing house. Maybe he just that type of dude that just do better in situations without titles. Have y'all had that before? Like people, like once y'all get in a relationship the the title like mess up the relationship kind of thing but before y'all was even in a title y'all was good y'all was okay y'all was decent you feel me so i can't, i i kind of feel it i kind of feel it so she said i don't know what to do i like him as a person as a friend but i can't go on with this making out anymore i wanted to say no to him multiple times but i know his feelings alone now with him being not on good terms with his family with stress from his work with everything and leaving him would make me feel guilty girl no uh-uh no your problems what he going through at this moment in time ain't got nothing to do with the situation at hand the relationship situation at hand like if you feel like you have feelings for him one you need to tell him two you need to cut it off if he if, if it ain't going further than the relationship you just need to cut it off you should be cutting off <clears throat> what y'all think comment down below let me know all right so i'm gonna do one more confession and if you guys got this far into the video please make sure to drop a hmm what can i make y'all drop what can i make y'all drop hey what can i make y'all drop hey mama look um drop the girl that do like this like this like okay like whatever like the fuck like nah, drop that hand y'all drop that okay <laughs> to be eligible to get the next shout out <clears throat> let's see what this other confession is too so it says the other one Ooh. look somebody cheating all right somebody cheating So it says, I met this guy about five years ago. He's a good guy. Fast forward. We agreed it was only going to be sex. Fast forward again. He got married and I found him on Instagram. 
I cried. Why the fuck you cry for? <laughs> Why you cry for, girl? We've had sex before his wedding. Now, to my knowledge, he immediately knew that I fell in love with him. So y'all had sex before they got married. But you, you develop feelings after having sexual encounters with him. And now you seeing him and his wife on an Instagram. Mm -mm -mm. You should never even slept with a married man, baby. This is what you see. Y'all can't be sleeping with people's mans and husbands and wives and girlfriends. You catch feelings. They don't need to be caught. Okay. So it says... Um, he immediately knew I fell in love with him. I jokingly said it a few times. He told me recently after five years that he loves and wants to be with his girlfriend. Oh, he is everything I want in a man. But the problem is he's not my man. <laughs> Period. So you just need to go find your own man. Like, I respected their relationship. How? If you slept with her man. You didn't you didn't respect the relationship. I don't call him or anything. He calls me. Okay, and you answer. Oh, but you know he married. Why you answer me? Man, I wanna let go, but it's hard. He taught me how to love my body and that's that I'm beautiful regardless of the naysayers. It's hard because I really wanna tell it's a wife about us. I won't, but that's how I feel. Wow. I seen uh y'all know let me say this real quick. I seen a meme on Facebook and it was a girl who shared it. Who was it? Ari. Ori. And she was saying basically how a woman a woman is okay with sleeping with somebody else's man knowing that that man got another woman. Like, why? Do y'all think it's okay to sleep with other people? Man, like, I don't understand. Like, and I be seeing a lot of females brag about it, too. Like, no, nah, I sleep with your man. Or I slept with your man a couple of times. Like, wait, what? You okay with, like, y'all, it's beyond me, okay? Um. So then she, he, taught, he taught you all this stuff about yourself. Uh, I won't, but that's just how I feel. You won't tell her. Well, hey, you might as well not tell her, cause then you gonna ruin it. You gonna you gonna mess up some stuff. And he still gonna wanna be with his wife at the end of the day. Like at the end of the day, he still gonna wanna be with his wife. He ain't gonna be like I'm finna do. What's my wife for you? No, he not he not finna do that. Mm -mm. <laughs> But anywho, guys, if you guys enjoyed this Confession Friday, please make sure to thumbs up the video. Comment down below. Share me out. Give me lit. Gang, gang. I'm out this thing. Hey. It's a cause. Mama nah. called trying to hit my songs. Yeah. If I can trouble, got me and all. My brother going through with me.